We have some big breaking news. It's coming in. NASA's Crew 10 mission welcomed by Crew 9. Crew 10 astronauts replace Crew 9 astronauts. Crew 9 mission to take off to Earth next. Williams and Wilmo set to return to Earth shortly. Now, say SpaceX capsule delivered four astronauts to the International Space Station earlier today in a NASA crew swap mission that will allow a pair of stuck astronauts, Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams, to return home after nine months on the orbiting lab. This is after Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore were on a week-long mission to the International Space Station but ended up being stranded for about nine months and now after successfully docking, NASA's Crew 10 mission has been welcomed by Crew 9 mission as can be seen uh, in the visuals on your screen. They're being greeted by the Crew 9 mission members. Crew 10 has had a great journey up here, about 28 hours to uh, get back up to the space station. And I cannot tell you the immense joy on the, uh, of our crew when we looked out the window and we saw the space station for the first time. Uh, f returning for a couple of people, very first time for a couple of people. Um, and let me tell you, that is such an amazing journey. Uh, you can hardly even put it into words. Uh, the ride up on the Falcon 9, uh, orbiting the Earth for the last couple of days, it's been absolutely incredible and it is something that none of us could do by ourselves. Uh, as we've said before, you cannot be great without the greatness of others and I tell you the greatness of the ground control teams have really shined through in the last few days getting us up here safely. Thank you very, very much. Hey, uh, from the bottom of my heart, thanks to our families, friends, and our colleagues, from all the partners, SpaceX, NASA, CSA, ESA, Roscosmos, and JAXA, for preparing us and uh, making it possible for us to get here. And we are so, so excited to now be officially part of the Expedition 72. Thank you, thank you guys. And uh, I want to say a couple of words in Japanese from here. あ、Okay. Uh, thanks a lot one more time to SpaceX and NASA for this uh, wonderful ride. Uh, that was really fun. Uh, and thanks, thanks to all the world's uh, aerospace industry, uh, which works to make the dreams to come true and uh, to take us further and further. That's really wonderful. Thanks to everyone working there. И спасибо, конечно же, отдельно это Роскосмосу и Центру подготовки космонавтов за Знания и опыт, которые привели меня сюда. Будем работать, работать славно, работать дружно. Во имя, во благо всего человечества. Передаю микрофон. Потерялся. I'd like to just say again, uh, thank you to SpaceX for the awesome ride up here. Uh, as a rookie, that was one of the coolest things I've ever done, and I can't wait to get get to work up here. So, uh, so excited for uh, the four pilots and us that just got to get to space together, and uh, <laughs> now we're four astronauts together. So, um, thank you to all of our friends and families, and thank you to all all of the instructors and all of the ground teams who got us here. Can't wait to get started. And Houston, thank you for uh, tuning in this early morning. It was a, a wonderful day. Great to see our friends arrive. So thank you so much. Now that was a welcome address by a uh, Crew 10 member, Crew 10 commander, in fact, uh, Anne McLean, followed by uh, Crew 10 members Takuya Onishi, Kyrel Peskov, and Nicole Ayers. We also heard Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore. Uh, I'm being joined by Shibu Kumar Tripathi, Senior Assistant Editor of Science. Uh, Shibu, it's, you know, we just played out uh, visuals uh, from uh, the International Space Station, and uh, it is good to see the kind of levity that is there among the astronauts, you know, after the Crew 9 members are going to be finally replaced by the Crew 10 members. Uh, definitely, uh, this has been a long journey for the Crew 10 astronauts. They launched yesterday around 4:30 in the morning. They have been on a flight that has lasted over 26 hours now, and they have been up for close to 10 to 12 hours uh, 
maneuvering the uh, the Dragon spacecraft to the space station. So it has been an incredible journey that they have gone through in the last uh, couple of days. Uh, what what's going to happen next is uh, there will be handover of the science experiments and all the research that has been going on on the International Space Station. We saw that all the astronauts uh, gave the entire credit of this mission of the long duration travel to the ground station to NASA and to SpaceX who have been actively and very precisely maneuvering the entire uh, mission as of now. Uh, once the handover uh, is complete, uh, Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore will finally get a crew will finally get their right to to come back home after a long nine months of stay in uh, on the space station. Could you also uh, tell us how long uh, will Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore take to finally touch down to Earth? So at the moment, according to the latest information that we have received, is Sometime around March 19th or after that is when the Crew Dragon, uh, which is docked on the space station, that brought Crew 9 to, this, uh, to the flying laboratory about uh, six months ago, will undock. Uh, after that, it will be about 10 or 12 hours of ride uh, from space station to the final spl uh, splashdown. The splashdown is supposed to happen in the co off the coast of Florida. So it will depend on the weather conditions in the region, uh, the orbital trajectory of the space station, where it is uh, at that moment before it undocks, to get the final uh, time and the landing duration. So we're waiting for the updates from uh, NASA in a couple of days. We're expecting that they'll uh, the issue the time when the undocking will take place. But according to the latest information, sometime around March 19th or March 20th is when it is supposed to happen. Absolutely, Shibu. I'm going to thank you for bringing us those details on that story. Space, SpaceX capsule has uh, successfully delivered four astronauts of the Crew 10 team who will now replace Crew 9 team. That includes Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore who will be returning, touching down to Earth finally after nine months. Copy.